Hi, I'm Björn Stolt from Modern Professional. Welcome to this P3 quick tip video on how to use different background sources for your setup view. So, you know, we've got the classic all white or grid background, but in here we also have the option to choose a background image, which you've seen in previous videos, but you can also use video input as your background. So to use video input, you will of course go to video input and enable some kind of input. I've got NDI coming in from a Resolume setup in the same computer. So coming back to setup view, here you can see my bars are going down and up. Yeah, that's fine. So if I move in here, I will see the pixelation of the fixtures. I can move fixtures around. In any way I want as well, which is a nice and powerful feature, meaning I can line fixtures up to fit with the content, or depending on what content I'm sending, this could be lines going the other way to make sure I have my fixtures aligned in the way I want them to be, or I could also actually use a pixel map for the output view to map my pixels over an incoming still image in order to make the perfect setup in case I'm working with external media servers with video mapping so I have to match an exact setup. So that's some of the options to work with video input over your setup view. The video input also enables you to use test patterns on your setup view. So if I now set my test pattern to white as an example select my test patterns on, you will see my fixtures will go and show white output. If I select red, they will show red. If I go for a red gradient, they will show the red gradient. If I go for my moving gradient, however, that will show over the whole canvas. So you will see how the fixtures are meant to react to the test pattern. Moving lines is moving really quick sideways. Or the alignment bar, which might be the most interesting thing here. You see the bar moving here. You can now unclick moving, move the alignment bar up. So you can actually check how you want, how your fixtures are to be mapped using the alignment bar so that it actually works this way in reality. So you see on the factrons here that I can move the alignment bar up and down. I can change the color of the alignment bar and actually see it in the setup. So no more wondering where the alignment bar is on the canvas. So that's another way of using the uh, video input in setup view. Thank you very much for watching this P3 quick tip video.